What's going on today, guys? All right, so <laughs> I saw this stuff. It's kind of been making some of the rounds in some of the, um, you know, geek news websites and things like that. And I had to share it with you guys. I'd really like your opinion down below. And before I get too far into it, uh, let me just say I did I did clear this article with my wife. For those that don't know, I am married to a beautiful Hispanic woman. And uh, to get her opinion, because uh, you'll see my opinion in this, but uh, just so you know, uh, she completely agreed and was uh, rather offended by this stuff. Um, but what we have here, DC Comics teases, or tease causes controversy with Hispanic Heritage Month variants. So September is Hispanic Heritage Month, and DC decided to celebrate, uh, you know, in really the only way they know how, which is fine, by doing variant covers. And it's not that they decided to celebrate with variant covers. It's the covers themselves, some of which were drawn by uh, Hispanic artists, which is cool, but still, I, I just kind of want to keep this brief and and certainly in the comments let me know what you guys think about this but these are some of the variant covers that are out there and i wanted to click on these so you can see uh i i don't know who any of these characters are it's been a very long time since i've read dc so some of these characters i will know and some i will not but this is some dc characters um at a cookout eating a lot of hispanic food uh, you know, we've got tacos and stuff there and tacos and other things. Look like some tortas and some other stuff down here. So a lot of people, a group of super powered individuals enjoying some Mexican food. Nothing wrong with that. It's fine. I mean, a little, I don't know, simple on a take on heritage, you know, for Hispanic people, just delve into the food. But that's fine. Whatever. Okay. Uh, next one we've got here. This is the question, the female version of the question, and we are surrounded by a bunch of traditional Hispanic uh, vegetation, vegetables and fruits. Um, okay, Hispanic food. We're going back to food. Okay. All right, that's fine. You know, different artists, different takes. That's the first thing they went to was was Mexican food. All right, cool. We got this one here. Oh, it's the new Green Lantern, who I forget her name, but she is Hispanic and she's defeating Sinestro and some other uh, bad guys here. Oh, but wait, she she's eating a burrito. Oh, okay, it Hispanic food again. Getting a little repetitive here. I mean, can't they think of anything else that might represent Hispanic culture other than tacos and burritos? Well, let's see. Let's find out if they can. Um, no, no, apparently they can't. Apparently now we've got hot girl serving Mexican food at a Mexican restaurant. So, all right. Does anybody have any better ideas? Uh, no, I guess not. Here's Bane eating flan and uh, being served a really large check for the flan and I guess the damage he did to the restaurant so once again <clears throat> we're at food so that's fun and then of course we've got blue beetle who is hispanic again just eating tacos because apparently to dc comics you know hispanic heritage can be wrapped up in a tortilla i don't know but then the one that's the funniest of all is this one over here so this is the well, the cover that they decided to go with. Now there was actually two covers to uh, this uh, Titans United Blood Pact one with Kyle Rayner on the front, and the first one just had him kind of uh, with a, it's a traditional, um, uh, I believe it's Mexican painting uh, with him and some stuff in the background, things like that. But instead of going with that one, they they changed it and decided to go with the one where he's holding a flag that says "Viva Mexico," and down here. He's holding a bag of tamales. That's right. More Mexican food. This is what DC Comics thinks of Hispanic people and Hispanic heritage, apparently, is it's just about food because they have no concept of Hispanic heritage in any way, shape, or form, which is funny coming from some of these comic book companies who love to 
you know, preach about inclusion and diversity and all these wonderful things that tend to ruin a lot of comic books uh, when you only make that the point of the comic book instead of just writing a good story. Uh, and yet when pressed on representing Hispanic culture and heritage, all they can think of is food. That's it. There's no other way they can show Hispanic representation without tacos, burritos, and tamales. So I leave it to you guys. Is this racist? Does this go against the current, and I hate using this word, but the current woke trend in comic books? I mean, seriously, this seems to speak against what they say they're for because essentially they can't come up with anything else to describe Hispanic culture other than food. I certainly think it is. I think it's I think it's kind of racist, but I'll leave that for you guys to decide. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I'll be very curious to hear your thoughts.